All right, what's up everyone? Sean here and today in this video is going to be a little different. I am going to be talking over uh, a compilation of footage that I recorded myself doing a ceramic coating from my sister's car, uh, which is the Pri uh, Toyota Prius from 2018, I believe. Uh, around that generation anyway, or time or, or whatever. Um, this car is more of your typical, like, very, very average in terms of how it was taken care of at least in those years anyway and um you know it's like once in a while my sister would like rinse off the dirt and then dry it right and sometimes i believe she does the uh you know just putting soap on this wash mitt and then just you know applying it on the car and then rinse it off and then dry it off or whatever but either way there is a good amount of marring on the car just from that and just you know life itself you know and uh unfortunately you don't get to see that at, at all in this video i just did not have the correct lighting uh, besides the sun to um show you guys the swirl marks that i see because none of the lights i had did it justice or injustice rather you know and yeah so basically um, there's a lot of swirl marks, believe, believe me. Take my word for it. There's a lot of swirl marks and other scratches and stuff like that. Um, that's just kind of how <laughs> uh, this car was before the whole process anyway. But yeah. Um, so basically, uh, I proceeded as normal, which, you wa which is to wash the car. I did rinse this wash uh, with DIY details. Rinse this wash version 2. Great one if you have... Uh, none of them, no rinse and wash at all. But if you have a uh, V1, um, you, you, you are still not missing out um, for the most part. The only thing new about that rinse and wash with v V2 is some of the cleaning characteristics and the lubrication. But otherwise, you're still good with just V1. Uh, but anyways, yes, I'm, I was using the SBTA mini cordless uh, polisher, which is fine which for like small spaces, but I really like using the Max Shine um, DA polisher, which is the 8mm throw. It's like 120 bucks around that price, and it's a good one for beginners like myself or people who just don't really do it all that often. Basically, the ones who do it at home, you know, or... Um, DIYers and stuff like that. I think this is this is well. This, this works well enough. Maybe someday I will get myself a 20, 21 millimeter throw polisher down the road when it is due. F when any of the cars are due for some sort of uh, polishing again. Although the only car left that hasn't been polished um, is my mom's car. Now, when it comes to this car, though, the Prius. Let's get back into the, the Prius. Yes, it has not been polished like this for the for forever or or at all, you know. Um, I'm the one who really takes care of the the washing and everything. Have um, anyone in my family, of course, which is a little normal anyway. <laughs> and um, I'm a little more enthusiastic when it comes to car detailing slash washing. Yes, uh, after all that polishing, I did panel prep with Gian's uh, panel prep. And then now I use the Cerakote um, ceramic coating version two. Version two uh, basically corrects the curing sort of process that V1 was having trouble with, from uh, from what I've heard anyway. Um, I saw a lot of reviews and testings and all that stuff saying that um, it like died after a month or so. Although at the time I think the uh, price of v1 was like 60 bucks for two bottles so basically it is a 30 dollar ceramic coating so if you want to think of it like that then sure it's okay but after all that process don't you want to like have the ceramic coating to do its actual thing you know so um ceramic cer ceracote excuse me um came out rather quickly and apologized admitted their mistakes and um you know some people were skeptical i understand However, um, Cerakote was rather quick to um, correct it. They came out with V2 soon, relatively soon after. <clears throat> and um, a number of people like Pandia Organizer helped sort of show that this is the one to get. And um, <clears throat> obviously one of the differences 
with the presentation anyway is the bottle. If it has the clear-ish um, glass bottle, go get that one. Not the black opaque one or whatever you call it. But um, one huge warning that I almost failed to do is to wear gloves. Please, please wear gloves when you're ceramic coating. You do not want any SiO2 or any sort of silica or any ceramic of any kind going through your skin. You don't want that in, a, in your lifetime, especially if you do this way more often than the than your average person. If you, especially if you do it for like a job. Um, please, please, please always wear gloves. Um, here, I almost forgot to do so. During my first time, I did I did that. Um, correctly so i was like too excited don't let your emotions get to you like me um i i was very very excited to get this um applied but anyways um nonetheless it could have been worse i got the gloves on and coating of itself or the application was um a little more tedious i would say than 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 uh, my experience with diy details ceramic coating for me, I think it might have been an applicator, but I switched to the, funny enough, the foam applicator that it came with for the DIY detail coating. And that even sh was still a little difficult to um, get it on the surface, for me anyway. It might have been my conditions where it like flashed so fast that I can't see it. So I can't see like the coating being applied or something like that. But uh, I wound up applying uh, too much, but luckily, leveling it off was very easy uh basically it's supposed to like have like the sweating effect which i only barely saw in the beginning but once um i got into it into um the other panels i did not see the sweating effect but um on the hood right here i did see it so it was a little easier at that time but um i definitely did not see that and i was like testing the slickness already and it was already starting to slide off so that's pretty cool anyways um overall though the process wasn't too bad um, it was just like that the uh, sort of feeling of confidence or lack thereof of applying enough on the surface but anyways I just did it I uh, I even over applied on some panels because I was forgetting so my mistake for me to correct is just do it one at a time or two panels at a time because I did it a lot of panels at a time and I just wind up forgetting or becoming paranoid and I just uh, began applying a little too much. But yeah, this is, uh, I believe, after all that wiping and leveling and all that stuff. And this was the gloss right after. So that you can see it in the garage. Um, obviously the camera will never do it justice, but um, it did come out very glossy and shiny. Just from, you know, all the processes and stuff like that, polishing and all that stuff, it definitely does help and really does make a difference for your cars. So it's it's nice to give your car a treatment once in a while, that royal treatment, polishing and even ceramic coating, of course. It's the new kid on the block or in, uh, in comparison to waxing, right, or sealants. I'd say this is pretty easy to do overall. You just have to be a little more attentive with um, ceramic coating to make sure you don't uh, apply too much. Uh, otherwise, you'll have high spots. So yes, right here, this is my bottle after using it. Now, granted, yes, the Prius is actually a bigger car than I thought. It like barely fits in a garage <laughs> in comparison to, to the other two cars. But um, even so, I think I applied too much of it, but um, leveling it off was no problem. That's um, kind of how easy it was. So. With Cerakote, you can drive it off after two hours or whatever, but I um, wait for like 24 hours and then I put put the car back outside. And uh, my sister was very happy to see the results of the ceramic coating. Uh, she she said it was like it looks like it looked like a completely different car. It was very shiny for her, so I was happy. I that's the stuff I live for, right? The happy, you know, good reactions from people. And yeah, so that's why, uh, partially, uh, that's why I do this. And um, yeah, it's a good feeling. So overall, yes, I was happy with the process. I think I um, that's another successful ceramic coating in my book. Now, I, didn't have, I have not tested the hydrophobics on Cerakote. So we'll have to wait and see after probably a month. But otherwise, the glossiness and stuff like that 
um, I am pretty satisfied with. I even took it out. Um, I took my camera outside a week after the Sarah coating or Sarah coats, Sarah coating, excuse me. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm 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 happy with the results myself. But most importantly, my sister who drives the car is happy with the results. So, anyways, um, if, you, uh, if you guys found this video entertaining or informative at all, uh, leave it down below. Uh, I love to read them. Don't forget to hit the, hit the like and subscribe. Really appreciate. It. And yeah, so that has has been my experience with Sarah Coats uh, ceramic coating version two, and the whole process and all that stuff. It was uh, it's just satisfying. So thank you very much, and uh, hope to see you all in the next video. Sean out.